The capital of England is the largest city in the United Kingdom with over 8 million people. Being a major cultural center, London is home to many of the world's most famous museums and art galleries. Over 30 million tourists come to London every year to see its famous landmarks, such as Big Ben, Buckingham Palace, and Westminster Abbey. London is also home to the West End, a theater district known for its world-famous theaters like the Royal Opera House, Globe Theater, and the Sondheim Theater. In as well as ideas for organizing your visit to the city known as the Big Smoke. From cold, cloudy weather conditions to bright, sunny ones, people haven't started their summer vacations yet. June is great for the ones weather is warm and sunny, making it perfect for exploring the city's parks and green spaces. July and August is when London sees peaks. If you're on a budget, November and February are perfect. All flights to London land at one of six international airports, the major one being Heathrow Airport. Once you've arrived at Heathrow, there are a few different ways to get into the center of London. If speed is your priority, then your best bet is to take the train. The Heathrow Express is a direct service that runs every 15 minutes to the city center. There are so many things to see difficult to know where to start. However, there are certain attractions that should not be missed on your trip. Starting off with the mighty London Eye, Europe's tallest cantilevered observation wheel by the River Thames, and arguably the most famous clock in the world, the Big Ben. ...that should definitely make their way into your itinerary are the Buckingham Palace, Tower of London, Westminster Abbey, Royal Observatory, and St. Paul's Cathedral. Also be sure to visit the Warner Bros. Studio, Hyde Park, and the National Gallery. First thing that springs to mind is a plethora of famous and historical places. The city is packed with well-known structures and streets where some of history's most famous moments have occurred. From the busiest shopping street in Europe with over 300 different shops, the Oxford Street to the brightly neon-lit streets of Piccadilly Circus that display an array of cinema streets of London absolutely have it all. Be sure to also visit Trafalgar Square and a particular street in central London that will be forever remembered thanks to the Beatles, Abbey Road. The uniqueness of London is that, rather than being one massive city, it feels like a collection of little neighborhoods with its own flavor, quirkiness, and personality. If you're looking to have some fun with great food and drinks, Soho is the spot for you. For a full Soho experience, get tickets to a West End show and march up and down Old Compton Street and the surrounding area for drinks. For an area full of music venues and pubs, then be sure to visit Camden. Experience an out-of-London day trip at Greenwich on Kensington to soak in all the beauty of some of the greatest museums in the world. There are a few areas that stand out as the best places to stay in London. Central London is always going to be a great option, as it puts you right in the heart of all the action. If you want to be close to the sights and attractions, then this is definitely the place to be. Another great option is Kensington. This area is full of great shops being close to some of London's most famous museums that are worth considering. One of the most popular choices is Earl's Court. This area is well connected to the rest of London, and it has a great selection of restaurants, bars, and shops. Another budget-friendly option is Brixton. There's no better way to see London than by foot. Walking around London is a great way to explore this and cheap way to get around. The city is served by a vast train network, which is operated by a number of different companies, or you can use the trams to travel around, especially if you're in South London. The Oyster card can be used to pay for all public transport services. You also have the famous Black Cabs of London, 
on the streets and they'll drop you at any corner of the city. The cheapest time to travel to London is during the off-season, from November to early March. With a little bit of planning and research, you can easily enjoy London on a budget of 50 to 60 pounds a day. From free museums and attractions to discounted tickets for shows and events, there are plenty of ways to save money while still enjoying all that the city has to offer. You can also visit many of London's iconic landmarks free of cost, such as Buckingham Palace, Trafalgar Square, and Piccadilly Circus. If you purchase an Oyster card, which gives you access to the city's buses, trains, and subways for a predetermined daily cost, you can save money on transportation in London. Time visitors, we recommend spending at least four or five days in London to allow you time to get a feel for the city and see many of its major attractions.